Hey, what's up? What's going on? It's your girl, Mary Jane. Please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. So anyways, let's get into it. We're going to talk about Power, Season 4, Episode 2. Ghosts can't breathe. The music in the background. Ghosts is sitting in prison, sitting in jail. He just can't breathe. He can't make any moves. He doesn't know what to do. And he's singing things in a mirror. Like he's kind of getting delusional. He's trying to come up with a with a plan, or is he using his imagination when he's looking in the mirror at himself and seeing things deform? Does is he seeing his team, his empire, be, you know, dismantled, disformed? So Ghost got a lot on his plate. So, anyways, Tasha, she's at home making breakfast for her kids or whatever, and you know she's telling the kids, "Don't call, you know, your father, Jamie." you know, ghost or whatever, don't, you know, that's just his nickname, because, you know, Tariq wants to know where he, he got his name from, and, you know, Tasha is be still beating around the bush with Tyreek, and Tyreek thinks her father, thinks his father is guilty, and because, you know, Cannon is in Tariq's ear, Tariq is really going to be a problem, I don't know how he's going to be used, but he's really going to be a problem, or is he going to get killed while James is in jail, while Ghost is in jail, that's going to be crazy, for Tasha and you know um Tommy so we'll see what happens so it seems like Tasha should just be real wet to week at least tell him some type of info at least tell him some something so he can stop being so negative towards his father because he believes that they're treating him like a child and not an adult so anyways you know Tasha tells the kids don't say anything about um ghosts don't even bring up that name ghost if anybody asks you any questions say you don't know anything because basically she's letting them know that the media could twist your words twist everything that you say so it is what it is so tommy so keisha so keisha um she meets up with you know tommy or whatever and she wants out you know um she doesn't want to be laundering money or you know and her business being signed over to um tasha and um and Tommy for now and she's feeling kind of nervous because Ghost is still in jail he hasn't got bail and she's figuring that they could be coming after her business and her business was legit but it ain't anymore so anyways you know um, Ghost meets up with his lawyer Joe um, Proctor whatever and Joe tells him like it's looking gleam you know they got your fingerprints your DNA and you know we just have to wait to see what's gonna happen because you know he didn't get bail so everything's still on hold until Joe Proctor can find out some information see where you know the prosecution is coming from so it ain't looking good for Ghost <laughs> and then you know um, Ghost is believing that Angela is framing him and setting him up and so, you know, um, Joe Proctor, he's giving, so if Ghost takes the stand, he's asking, um, he's preparing, you know, Ghost for taking a stand. And it looks like, no, Ghost can't take the stand because he can't lie on the stand. He can't say that he's not a drug dealer. He can't say he's not a killer. And basically, they can use him testifying against him. So right now, it looks like Ghost is not going to testify. But it might change because they might pull something out the hat. And so, Angela, the same thing is happening with her. You know, John, Sack. Mike Sandoval and um and the other you know FBI agents are questioning Angela because basically they want to use Angela to testify and say that Ghost killed Knox because of a jealous rage and they realize they can't do that so they started questioning um Angela like preparing her if she was going to be on if she was going to be testifying and it comes out they can't use Angela because then they can the, the defense can um sequest or ask for all the agents to know about this information because Angela lied about her relationship with, you know, um, Jamie Ghost and her co-workers knew about it. So it will call in their, cred their credibility. And so it looks like it's not going to happen. So John said it ain't going to happen. Angela ain't going to be testifying. And Angela feels like, yeah, that's a good idea because she doesn't want to testify. But she might end up testifying at the end to, to help Ghost because... It looks like she's not believing everything her team is coming up against um ghost all the um evidence they're um that they did that they're getting you know what i mean she's like okay so anyways so now we know angela and ghost is not going to be testifying at all so 
they both failed the test of being a witness so it is what it is and so dre right now dre is feeling on top of the world right now he's at a place where he wants to be he's getting um He's really feeling himself because he's taking over Ghost's position and he's running Ghost Club. And he's also teaching the bartenders and the waitresses how to make how to make drug transactions, basically. How to charge the credit card for two bottles, give them the drugs, and the second bottle disappears. So it seems like they're only buying bottles. And you know, bottles in the club are expensive. So that way, nothing can be traced to the club or to the person that's purchasing the drugs. So, and it's one thing, Ghost did not want any drugs being dealt in his club, but he got no say in things anymore. He can't do nothing about it. Drugs, drugs are being sold in his club, and that was one of his pet peeves that he didn't want. But everything is changing. Everything is moving on without Ghost, and Ghost is trying to hold on because he's dealing with a war outside in the streets, and he's dealing with a war in the, in the jail you know, he's going through torment in jail and, you know, he can't really think in jail because shit is popping off in jail. So, um, Jamie doesn't know what he's going to do. Ghost is trying to figure it out. And so it is what it is. And so anyways, um, so Ghost calls Dre. Dre lets, you know, Ghost know that, you know, he's been talking to Karen and, you know, to keep the deal with the clubs going through. Ghost has got, oh, you've been talking to her? And so Ghost is, I know Ghost is stinking. Like, I hope, you know, Dre don't try to take his spot. But, okay, he's cool. There's nothing he can do but trust um, Dre right now at this point. It is what it is. And so anyways, um, Tommy finds out that one of the one of um the people that buy drugs from him Cristobal went to go meet up with some other dudes to get a new connect and Tommy was like yo why is Cristobal going around trying to get a new connect I only been a connect for a uh, uh, a minute give me some mercy man so Tommy sends you know Julio to go check to go um check um Cristobal to make sure Cristobal knows that he can't be going around um soliciting other people as connects when Tommy's his connect because you can't get out of the game like that with Tommy so Tommy sends you know um Julio to go take care of that business and Tommy tells Julio listen make sure you do right by me make sure you show him who if if it if it was me dealing with the situation because Tommy is kind of hot. He can't really be out here in these streets selling drugs and going after people because the FBI is soon going to be watching him, soon going to be looking at him. So he has to stay low key. He has to keep it on the low. He, and plus, Tommy's already feeling like, oh my God, Ghost really had a difficult job. How did Ghost keep all this shit together? Every time you turn around, there's a pitfall. There, There's a hole. There's, there's an obstacle coming up. And Tommy's just trying to deal with it. He's trying to think like Ghost is well in my opinion so anyways he tells julio make sure he pays and he knows it's coming from me no mercy or whatever but you know julio doesn't do that it is what it is so you know julio goes julio he goes he meets up with Cristobal or whatever, Cristobal's boy Domingo hit, you know, Marcus, and Cristobal stopped it, but Julio didn't do anything about it, he was just, hey, hold it, you know what, I'm gonna make everything cool, um, um, Cristobal, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you an extra kilo, because Cristobal is, like, questioning, like, why should I be buying drugs from you guys when you, got, when one of the, the person that was in charge is now in jail, and, and it's gonna be hot, so are all of um, Tommy and ghost customers that that they sell to gonna be questioning whether they should continue to buy drugs from Tommy because the FBI has you know ghost so it almost seems like it they're trying to let us know that there's gonna be some deterioration inside of the team that people that purchase the drugs from Tommy because they're gonna get nervous you know because you know the FBI is gonna be watching people are gonna be watching so it is what it is. But anyways, Julio, what, one thing was funny. Julio says to um, Tommy, oh, oh, man, how can I help, you know, Ghost or whatever. And then Ghost, and so then Tommy goes, okay, I know how you two are close and everything and all that other good stuff. Nice little story. Maybe you can get um, conjugal visits to Julio. And he also says, I know, I, I know, I know you and um, Ghost story is so touching, but you know what? Can you just close this chapter and shut the fuck up? Tommy's funny as shit. 
So anyways, it is what it is. So, you know, like I said, Ghost is being challenged in every way. And then, you know, we met, you know, the uh, the dude, Tony, that's locked up with Ghost. He's trying to figure out who Ghost is, what kind of money he has, and all that good stuff. Because basically, he needs to find a way to get money to, you know, help his wife with her cancer treatments. And right now, he ain't making no money in prison. And he's feeling like he can probably get something out of Ghost. And he's doing research on ghosts. So ghost has people coming at him each and every way, even while he's locked up. So this dude, Tony, is a big deal or whatever. But I guess he's going to realize that he might know Tommy and ghosts from the streets. Or maybe Tommy and ghosts put some bodies in his neighborhood. Or maybe, you know, this guy, Tony, is Egan's father because he asked the lawyer to find out information about these two and... When he hears their name, he was like, oh, where did they grow up? And he, and, and, um, and the lawyer was like, Queens. So we're going to see how intro, how this character is going to play uh, a, a role in Ghost Life. Is he going to help Ghost or he's going to be another one that's going to be tearing down Ghost? So anyways, it is what it is. So anyways, you got Joe Proctor. He's out with the news reporters. He's saying that they're charging ghosts with this crime because he's black. He's throwing the race car. The reporter says, so you think he's race? Of course it's race. And Joe's like, I never re really used to say it's the race car. But in this case, it's the race car. So then, you know, the prosecution, they're upset. They want to get a gag order and all that other good stuff. And because they don't want him to be. And Angela goes, you know, he is you know, um, tainting the jurors, the, the, the possible jurors in New York or whatever. So it is what it is. So anyways, the judge is like, nah, there's no, there's not going to be a gag order or anything like that. So it is what it is. And so anyways, um, John, he really wants ghosts and he doesn't want to lose because he really wants to beat Joe Proctor. He wants to get Joe Proctor and he's not and he don't want to lose again against him. So he's going to do everything that he can to make sure ghosts goes down. So anyways, Tasha almost tells Tariq about Cannon. She talks to Tariq about Cannon, but then she jumps off the car and um and attacks the, the 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 reporters or paparazzi that's taking pictures of her and she breaks the camera Tariq jumps off the car and say oh mom this is how we're supposed to be behave this is how we're supposed to act so um you know Tariq is just saying like his parents are both liars and he's saying that okay they tell me to be this way tell me to be that way but they're criminals and they're guilty of so many different things and he believes his mother's just a liar like his father so Cannon is really getting his grips close on you know Tariq and you know Tariq soon as Tariq is into school what does he do he calls Cannon to find out what's up and Cannon was like yo your father's guilty you know what I mean and Cannon and Cannon was like yo go visit your father in jail go talk to him do all the good, good stuff because if they know that you're you're well behaved and you're following rules and order you get to find information so you're gonna work for me so basically Tariq is being used as a pawn and he don't even know it because he has so much disdain for his father and his mother at this time and point so it is what it is so anyways that goes down and so then Tariq kind of brags about not really brag but says it might have been the gun that my father used to kill the FBI agent which is not a good thing so anyways um Cannon just he's he's manipulating you know Tariq it is what it is and then Tony's wife you know he finds out that she doesn't have a year she, I mean she doesn't have 18 months she only has a year to live so it is what it is and so it seems like so Chris Duvall and Julio or whatever, that shit goes wrong. And so um, it, we're going to get there. So anyways, the FBI agents, you know, they go and they raid Ghost's club, you know. They raid, they, um, raid the club. Dre's standing there. Dre's like, he doesn't know what to do. He's seeing things fall apart just as well. So I guess Tommy and Dre is like, how did Ghost, Ghost hold this shit down? How did he hold this shit down? It wasn't easy. They think it's easy, but it ain't easy. So the FBI come in there, and so, you know, they use a black guy to find the gun, which is, uh, I think his name is um, um, Donovan. They use him to find the gun or whatever, and because, you know, Joe Proctor was calling the race car, so he finds the gun, you know, they want the security footage or whatever, 
um, because John thinks that there's some more there's some more evidence out there but I don't know if the footage caught um, Mike Sandoval putting the gun in there or not but we'll see if there's any you know like any secret ca camera somewhere or planted somewhere but I don't know, but the gun is not going to have ghost fingerprints on it, is it? Or is he going to transfer, did he transfer fingerprints to the gun? We'll see. But, you know, Angela and everybody else feel like this is just too easy. Ghost is not that careless. Why would he have a gun in the club when he didn't even want drugs in the, in the club? So it is what it is. And Angela's thinking too, but right now she's, she's still mad at Ghost because, you know, Knox is dead and she believes that Ghost killed Knox. But I don't even really think that she believes it to wholeheartedly. But anyways, it is what it is. So, you know, Tommy, he meets up with Pata. Um, Pata, he meets up with Pata. And Pata was like, so what's going on with, you know, um, Ghost? Like, this ain't looking good. You know, I'm trying to keep Chicago off of us. But, you know, I might have to call him, let him go. Let them know that, you know, you possibly can't run the show. And so that's another headache Tommy has to deal with. So Tommy has to deal with Pata. He has to deal with um, Cristobal. He has to deal with Ghost going to jail and then coming to find out um, if Ghost goes down, he goes down as well. So Ghost and Tommy are both at two points in their life where they need each other and they have to think alike at this time for them to actually survive. So... It is what it is. And so, you know, Tommy finds out that, you know, Domingo hit, you know, Marcus or whatever. And then Tommy finds out through um, through his boy that, you know, Julio didn't do anything about it. And it was um, Cristobal that stopped the, the beatdown or whatever. And so, you know, Tommy's not feeling that because Tommy has a reputation to keep. And he doesn't like people shitting on him or shitting on his team or his empire right now. So Tommy goes check um, Domingo. He's, you know, he takes Domingo. He put a gun to Domingo's head while he's trying to smoke a blunt, whatever. Run him over. Ch first chase him with the, first put the gun to his head. Make him get out the car. And then chase him with the gun. And then after he chases him with the, put the gun towards him. He chases him with his own car, Domingo's own car. And has him run. And then he hits him. Then he backs over him and asks him to say, please, and I'll let you go. So Domingo says, please, and let him go. Tommy takes off with his car. Tommy can be cold-hearted when he want to be let me tell you so it is what it is it's getting it's getting crazy out here so tommy and keisha they meet up tommy and keisha meet up and they have sex or whatever and then um and that went crazy and then you know keisha starts you know tommy and keisha talks after they have sex and, and she says that Tommy says to her, have you ever played, have you, uh, is this your first time playing in the snow before? And then Tosh, and then um, Keisha said, yes, it's, yes, it is my first time playing in the snow. It's so unpredictable. You never know how many inches you're going to get. OMG. And then Tommy goes, well, mm, well, well, your first time playing in the snow, you get a blizzard. How about that? Uh, okay. So anyways, but Tasha, I mean, but Keisha, she talks about that, you know, she can't really t trust Tasha because Tasha, you know, took Sean away from her and she used Sean as a, uh, as a pawn to, you know, this, to, to, uh, make ghosts upset, to make ghosts mad because ghosts was messing with Angela. And also, you know, um, what is her name? Keisha is also upset that, you know, if Tasha finds out that she's happy some way, um, Keisha, Keisha says that if Tasha finds out some way that Keisha's happy, she's going to find some way to destroy it. So, you know, Keisha's already talking shit about Tasha, saying Tasha took over her business. She took Sean for her and she, she's just bad for business, basically. And so her telling that information to Tommy, I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but you, now we know that Tasha has to worry about Keisha because Keisha on the low is not feeling Tasha at all for Sean and taking, putting, and making her business be involved in this drug business. And so she could possibly come after, you know, Tasha or Tasha's probably going to have to have Keisha killed. Or Tommy's going to kill Keisha because any girl that Tommy messed with, his last girlfriend, you know he killed his last girlfriend. So, um, Keisha, Keisha, you better watch out. 
and you better not talk about Tasha. But but we know when Tommy has a girlfriend, he gets all crazy and he's messing with a woman, and then she can use him or whatever. So, is Keisha gonna be able to use Tommy to go against Ghost and Tasha? We'll see. Mm -mm -mm. So then we find out that John, the prosecutor, he goes, he gets an indictment for James St. Patrick and all that other good stuff. You know, Joe Proctor finds out because he has a, a spy inside the, in, uh, in the indictment room. So he gets the indictment and everything. So, um, and he's asking for ghosts to be charged with first degree murder. And also with that, Angela is surprised too as well. And with that, there's the death penalty. So Ghost might be facing, you know, the death penalty. And, you know, um, a Angela's like, she doesn't know what to do. She don't know what's going on at this point. So anyways, um, Tommy, T Tommy talks to Joe and all that other good stuff. And he's telling Joe, like, and, and he also gives Joe drugs. So Joe Proctor, he takes drugs as well. All the drugs is for his wife. That's a kind of sticky situation. Is the lawyer going to be too doped up to really defend ghosts? So anyways, Tommy tells, Tommy tells, you know, Joe, if I get arrested, if I go down, I'm going to kill you. And, you know, Joe's telling Tommy, you know, if ghost goes down, you're going to go down because they're going to get, they, both of you guys are going to go down basically. And Tommy ain't trying to hear that. So it is what it is. And so, you know, Joe is also, Joe Proctor is also telling Tommy he needs to sell, he needs to chill out with the drugs and selling the drugs. But Tommy can't chill out with the drugs right now because he's working with Bata. He just took over and he has to make sure that he sells these drugs and he's doing what he's supposed to do to make money, to pay people back, to make sure everything's going like it's supposed to because he wants to be the man. And right now, Tommy's like, it's not a good time for me not to, but you got to slow down somehow, Thomas, Tommy. We'll see what happens. It's getting good. So anyways, um, it is what it is. And so, you know, Tommy, so, you know, Tommy gets Domingo. That shit is crazy. So anyways, Tariq meets up with Cannon. Cannon shows Tariq how to open the door to the apartment so Cannon can come in and out. But one thing is, is Tommy Anger going to get the best of him where he's going to mess up and make a mistake? Because that's one of his problems. His angers get, get the best of him, but his anger could also keep people in line. So anyways, um, it is good. and so then anyways, I don't know how Cannon keeps showing up to the club, keeps showing up where, you know, um, Dre is at. So Cannon grabs Dre throws him up against the wall and says hey listen you've been talking shit about me you've been telling Tariq about Cannon and then you know um Dre's like nah I haven't I haven't did anything so you know I haven't said anything and so you know um Dre says to Cannon like yo I'm paying you to stay away from um Tariq why are you still you know messing around with Tariq and Cannon was like you ain't paying me nothing you're weak right now you done lie you just you told so many lies and you switched to this side, to that side, that you're all done. You'll have no friends. You So you're paying me to stay alive. So, you know, Dre is feeling some of, you know, Ghost's issues and Ghost's pain because now he's like, you know, he got his son jeopardized. He's trying to run this club with the drugs and then the FBI coming in. So Dre ain't feeling so good about this position anymore, I don't think. So anyways, it is what it is. So then everyone finds out that Ghost is going to probably get the death ghost is gonna get the death penalty or whatever and so jo joe proctor is telling um telling ghost he needs to snitch and ghost is like i don't snitch i'm not a snitch or whatever so so then you know tommy meets up with his mom and let his mom take his car or whatever because you know the fbi they're standing outside they put a tracker on tommy's car so tommy is kind of smart and so um she so she takes off with tommy's um car or whatever and so then, you know, Tommy's riding in the SUV like Ghost used to because he's taking over Ghost's position. But is he going to be able to hold it down and stop all the pitfalls that keep coming up? So it is what it is. So anyways, we know about the death penalty and Tasha knows she's just done and she don't know what to do right now. And, you know, Tommy, he, he finds out about Ghost having a death penalty because Ghost calls, you know, Tommy and tell him, I just need you to take care of my family. And, jo and Ghost can also tell that Tommy's tired, Tommy's stressed out, 
you know, Tommy's trying to work his um, frustrations out boxing or whatever. So anyways, you know, Tasha meets up with... Um, so anyways, once Ghost finds out that he's going to be getting the death penalty, um, you know, Charlie Murphy is tormenting him about how bad it's going to be. And he used to work on a death row and how like it's a lonely, terrifying process. So anyways, you know, um, um, Tasha, she goes, she meets up with Angela or whatever. And Angela is like, he, he. Angela lets Tasha know that, you know, Knox was her ex-boyfriend and, you know, now Tasha's, now Tasha's kind of thinking that the ghost really killed this FBI agent over, you know, um, over Angela because he was jealous. And so she starts to think about it because Tasha and, you know, Tommy really believed that ghosts would never kill an FBI agent. That's their code. And then they don't believe that he will leave a gun inside the club. Nor does Angela, I believe. But Angela is trying to put on a safe face because she's trying to protect, you know, um, Knox's image and trying to ride for the dead. So it is what it is. And, you know, T uh, Keisha, I mean, Tasha, she was like, if you wasn't an FBI agent, I'll hit you. But I am. I am. So, you know, Angela is worried. She's thinking, she's just thinking that this is just too easy. Like, she even tells Mike Sandoval that, like, yo, it's just too easy how the gun was there. I, maybe there's a way that he left that gun there because I know Ghost is not that careless in her head. So, Sandoval is like, Mike is like, nah, we got him. I'm going to make sure he gets the needle. But, you know, um, Angela can't be in on this. She has to sit the bench because they don't want her... Um, character be to be called in to be you know to testify for the defense so Angela is thinking I don't know she was like this is too easy and ghost is not that sloppy so we'll see what's gonna happen what's gonna go on but ghost has a lot of pitfalls so anyways please like subscribe to my youtube channel be greatly appreciate I'm out peace power